Harvey Weinstein's former assistant, a man he employed for more than nine years, says it was well known that his boss was a philanderer. But he says Weinstein went to great lengths to keep his most private moments secret. We would be told at 2 o'clock so-and-so is coming to the room, make yourself scarce, and we wouldn't even be there. We would be gone. And then he would call us an hour or two later and say, okay, come back up. And that was it. It wasn't until the recent reports of personal stories from Weinstein's alleged victims, including accusations of rape, that this former assistant says he realizes what may have actually been going on behind closed doors. And how do you feel now reading all of these reports of women coming forward now? Sick, angry, disgusted, victimized in our own right. It seems almost like the company was structured from the top to bottom to service whatever it was he was doing. Weinstein's reputation as a womanizer was known as Hollywood's worst kept secret. Actor Seth MacFarlane said this when he announced the Academy Award nominees for Best Supporting Actress in 2013. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> MacFarlane explained his comment Wednesday. He says he wanted to take a hard swing at the studio head after a friend told him Weinstein had harassed her. Make no mistake, this comment came from a place of loathing and anger. The board of the Weinstein Company has said that it is shocked and dismayed by the allegations, calling them an utter surprise. But the news is perhaps not so surprising to many others in Hollywood. Many people were aware of his reputation as an alleged sexual predator. There are a lot of people who enabled him in this way, and a lot of people tried to shield themselves. We reached out to the Weinstein Company for a response to these allegations, but haven't heard back. Bianca Rodriguez, CBS News, New York.